Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Gay you guys and girls and bastards. How are you? Well, guess what we're doing? Yeah, you probably guess. We're up the back paddock. Now, as you know, we have problems with some people coming through at times. So, when we come up here, look, we've actually these have been tied to the tree, but there's gaps in between. So, what we're going to do is um, Alfredo cut all these for us last week. We're going to throw these in and um, tie the wire to this. So, that means that no one can actually open up the wire and just slide straight through. So, we're going to do this all the way down through here. And uh, this is our fence that we've got our problems with today. So you're going to hit that one, but I think we'll be able to get it. We've got our man here. Good morning, Martin. Good morning. So, Martin, what the fuck's that? What is, what is your background on fighting? We're going to, I'm going to throw him on the spot so you can see what he used to do. No. Oh, sorry, it does do. I started when I was nine in Chinatown in London, and then uh, moved on to Japanese martial arts when I had a serious bike accident. And I used to go around the world uh, teaching jiu-jitsu and jiu-jitsu and virtually anything, screamer, a lot. And uh, I used to fight in the bear pits in Bangkok, etc. So. Don't fuck with him on a dark night. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to teach the women self-defense? Yes. I used to teach the police uh, and some sections of the military as a, a civilian advisor on march, you know, unarmed combat, that sort of thing. I don't come back. Bastard. So listen guys, if you see him in the Philippines in the dark alley of a night time, don't go near him. Alright, he'll knock your fucking head off. Seriously. So anyway, we, we offered him a job here as protection in the farm, you know, sort of like. But um, he's got too many things to do. Alright guys, we're going to get into it, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to get these here, we're going to whack these down, we're going to tie them on with the wire, and we've got beautiful little signs. Now the signs only last probably about, about a year, because they're only fucking plastic Chinese shit, you know, like everything in the Philippines. No, I didn't say shit in the Philippines, I mean Chinese. <laughs> so we've got the private property, you know, trespassing. And what I want to do is get a big sign up the middle there that says, trespassers will be shot, survivors will be shot again. You know, and put a couple of white crosses in the in the garden, you know, put a couple of white crosses here and there so that they think it's, you know, like, okay, he's burying bodies there. Right, so regardless of that, we're going to get into this now, guys. We'll be back when we've got some work done. <laughs> uh, right, guys, so this is where we're doing it. We're knocking these ones down, down there. Believe it or not, that is bloody hard ground, and we've got points on the bottom of all these. So, um... Martin's given the knock down. So what we're doing is we're actually putting, well, I'm twisting them between, between the fence, tying them off here and here, and so no one can squeeze in between, putting wire in between it, type thing. So this is how we're going on it. The signs are up saying um, no trespassing. Up, uh, well, it only lasts about a year. That's all they last, so, um, but that's no problem at all. So this is on, and we're just working our way, so we know this is fully complete. And we just walk, work our way down through the bottom here. And uh, she'll all be beautiful, inshallah. Inshallah. Ah. God, anyone think you've been swinging a bloody big sledgehammer on a six foot tall post? God. <laughs> well, come on, get back to work, come on. Now, look at this, guys. No matter, no matter what you do, they still think the grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> Oh, get off me. Don't. Don't fight with me. Don't fight with me. He's a bastard. All right, guys, so we've got all the way down to here now. Oh. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. He attacked Chick yesterday. Give it a lot of bruises, he did. And he knows not to play with William. Come here. Come here. Head scratch. There. That's all he wants is a head scratch. There you go. But don't bite my ass. <clears throat> Come on. Right, so Tix brought all the goats up here so that they can have a... Go on. Go on. Get away. Bastard. Hey, he knows not to fuck with me, but Chicky just keeps... He keeps attacking Chick all the time. So he said he's got a lot of bruises on the legs yesterday from him. Let's do it, bastards. But have a look at these guys, we did all, all sticking the head through, eating everything. There's all this area up here, the back here, there's plenty of, plenty of the same stuff for them to eat. 
Grass is always greener on the other side, guys. Seriously. It's like the next door neighbour's miss is always better looking than yours. You know, jump the fence and give her a serving. Known a few people like that any time, might tell you. Right, so we've got up to here, so I don't see. Do we have any more posts left, Martin? Oh yeah, there's a few left there, right. So we still need another one, two, probably about another two posts to put in here. And um, we've got it pretty well secure. Like I said, it's pretty good. So we're lucky. I always just brought us up coffees at 10 o'clock. She brought us up our coffees. Thank you, bastard. Tropical Tim. All right, guys. Back at you soon. More work to do. Right, so we got all down through here done nicely. Now, the problem we've got with this top wire is that it went around this great big tree here. Now, this big tree is the corner boundary. So that's the marker. You find a lot in Asian countries, I plant a tree onto the corners and that defines, you know, the land markings. And that's this great big bastard here, look, big bastard. So the wire, of course, when I've done this, it's been a few years now through here. And what we did is we went around the tree. And of course the tree's got fatter. And what it's done is it's broken, broken the um, barbed wire here, see? She's broken off. So what I'll do is I'll put another loop around that, come up to here, put it with a fence strainer, and it's only this small, probably about 10 metres here, we need to pull tight. And that will stop the pricks getting over here. And what I need to do then later is to bring the chainsaw down and start cutting this off at the base. So that they can't use this as the step over. Because that's what's happening. And you can see the trails through here where they're going through. So we'll get that one done now. You got the, oh you got the gear man. We're ready to go, we're rocking. Right, so this little bit was perfect for what we needed to go around the tree. As you can see, this was no good here. So I've thrown it on here, giving him a tighten up. Nice and nice and tighten. Now this one's downhill, so you gotta remember, we still gotta be able to have room to pull it back up again, guys. So with this here, this will actually go, pull him up to there, and this is nice and tight. It's nice and tighten. Oh, nice and tight. Right, so we'll tie this one off. Then before we tie off the end one, that way it'll take all the pressure all the way along. Right, alrighty mighty. So done, look at this. That's around here, nice and tight. I put some of these in to hold it up so they can't lift it up and slide underneath. This here I'm gonna have to cut down with a chainsaw. I'll cut that down to a level so it's no longer a, um, an attraction to come to. And uh, move that off. I'm gonna cut down this tree here as well. Cause there's one there, there's one there. Just those two enough. This, this is not going to go in the sun whatsoever with the bamboo there. You can see how it's been growing out already this way. So it's a total waste of time. Because of all this big bamboo up there, it's just flooding the area. And you can see all the leaves. So I'll cut that one off and I'll cut this bugger down. Get it out the way. That'll give these two a bit of a chance to survive on, on it. Right guys, so that's our fence all done along here. We've got plenty of signs. One of the original ones still in good nick there. I'll put a new sign up here. And all the way along, we've got the signs saying, piss off. So if it doesn't work, like I said, we'll put a couple of white crosses down on that side of things. But um, that's as secure as anything. I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna say TTFN. Thank you, Martin. Thank you very much, mate. I've got a whip. Got a whip? Get the whip. So, uh, Alfredo's cutting down in here. Is he coming seeing us this morning? Has he got any work? He said, yeah, there's always work, mate. So he's cutting down inside here. Don't take his time, work in the shade. You know, there's, there's no hurry. We ever get it done in one day or two days. It really is not an issue. You know, it's not like, oh, we've got this to do. It's got to be done in two days. It is, um, do, do what you can. Work to the temperature. If it's too hot, don't fucking work. And uh, look after your staff and they'll look after you. All right, guys, we're going to say ta-da. Catch you later. Wilfredo's so got his new boots we brought him. They weren't white ones. They weren't white ones, but he's still happy with the black ones. So I can see Chick doing another burn video soon. For all this stuff here. Now, we've still got um, probably about 10 left. And we'll have a look along at that back fence next time. We'll have a look along there just in case. This is where there's low wires that people are coming through. All right, guys, gonna love you and leave you. Thanks for watching us today on the farm. This was Martin and I doing the boundary fence up in my favorite block. 
And yes, it is for sale if you're interested. Talk to Chick Chick and um, she'll tell you what information you need to know. All right, guys, I'm going to catch you later. TTFN. Bye, mate.